This PC is literally rated one star on Amazon, so I decided to buy it and see just how bad it really is. It's actually not just the PC. It came with like an entire setup for $515. So we have a monitor here. I think inside of this box, dude, this thing is huge. There's the PC keyboard and mouse. This box is so giant, it barely fits the camera, but it actually is a keyboard and a headset. And I think there's a mouse in here somewhere. Wait, it looks like there's a mouse pad. Oh no, it's this whole speaker, bro. They actually gave me a whole speaker, like an entire entire sound bar. Dude, it's like an actual entire gaming setup for $515. Wait, is there a mouse or no? Oh, is this a mouse? I think it is. Yeah, it is. Okay, I'm gonna check these out later, but I wanna see the PC first. Oh, and of course, it also has a mouse pad. So this thing is actually stacked for $515, but the PC specs are not that good, to be honest. Okay, so the entire PC is wrapped, and it is a black PC case. Oh, yo, it smells like alcohol or something, like cleaning alcohol. I think they cleaned it before they sent it to me or something. Okay, Okay, and it actually has nice packaging inside. They packaged it like that just so the like GPU doesn't get like any damage, which is pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, looks wise, this PC had like six RGB fans, I'm pretty sure. And it actually didn't look that bad, but it's just like the actual specs, which is probably the most important part, were kind of lacking. Inside this PC, it has a Core i7, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and definitely kind of the worst part is the actual GPU, and that's only an RX 580. So I don't think we're gonna get, be getting too much FPS. At least the side panel actually is glass because a lot of companies send like plastic side panels and they look really bad. Okay, so let's get this thing out. And that actually, I'm not even gonna lie, does not look bad at all. The cable management is pretty good. Actually a lot better than I expected. The fans look pretty nice. It's just, it's, I wish I had a better graphics card. But this actually is not that bad. Here, let me turn it on just so you guys can actually see how it really looks. Okay, just power it on. And then yeah, look how many fans there are. Dude, that actually looks really good. But if I'm being completely honest, that's what these kind of companies do they make the pc look really really nice like look at it it looks so good with all the rgb but performance wise it's kind of lacking that's good you also have two eight gigabyte sticks instead of one 16 gigabyte stick so that's a little bit better and yeah let's actually just check out the rest of the setup because they also even gave us an entire monitor which is kind of good to be honest but first govi is having a huge back to school sale to make everyone's room a lot cooler with a bunch of new led accessories these are govi's curtain lights it's super easy to set up and it's compatible for most walls types. It allows you to create custom designs and you can also select from over 80 different light presets for Christmas, Halloween, birthdays, and more. I'm also going to be adding Govi's M1 Matter light strip because it's super easy to just put anywhere in my room and it works with all the other Govi lights in my room too. This LED light strip has better tones, higher brightness, and also better overall colors compared to most LED light strips. Since it has 60 LEDs per meter, it allows for a wide range of colors and effects to appear more accurately on the light strip. Not only that, but I'm also going to be adding Govi's nightlight into my room because it's just not some normal nightlight. It has over 54 different scene modes. This includes things such as gaming mode, music syncing, and DIY mode. But my favorite thing about it is that it has a bunch of different white noises, so it's kind of easy to fall asleep with. You're also able to carry the light easily around the house, and you can turn it on with one click. With its built-in Bluetooth, you're also able to play any of your favorite music. So make sure to check out Govi's huge back-to-school sale with the first link in the description or pinned comment. And huge thanks to Govi for sponsoring this video. Okay, they gave us an insane amount of peripherals. So let's check out the mouse first. And this thing is tiny, dude. And it doesn't even have side mouse buttons. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of part of the whole bundle, but definitely not a good mouse at all. I can just tell from feeling it. But here, let's check out the mouse pad. I wouldn't really consider these like free peripherals because they're kind of like all part of included the price. And all these peripherals together probably cost like 30, 20 bucks max. And then this, of course, I actually have to test it out, but I'm really surprised they sent out an entire like sound bar because I mean, they already sent out a headset. So I really actually want to test this out. I'm going to test this out when I set up the setup for sure. All right. And then here it says RGB gaming keyboard on the package. Probably going to be a membrane one if I had to guess. Yeah, it's a membrane ga gaming keyboard. It's kind of all kind of the cheap gaming peripherals you would expect. Personally, I would never really use any of these, but uh, if you're on an extreme budget, I guess. But nowadays you can find mechanical keyboards for $20 on Amazon and good mice for $20 on Amazon, sometimes $15. But I guess for the video, just for the fun of it, I'm actually going to use all these peripherals and just see like how bad they really are. Dude, look how like flexible this keyboard is though. This thing just wants to like snap in half, bro. Yeah, I'm actually gonna use this and see how good it is. And the last peripheral they sent me is an actual gaming headset. Oh, it actually folds up pretty nice. This reminds me to the like the beats. If the sound quality on these are fire, I mean, I can't really complain, bro. 
It, it, it just feels super cheap, to be honest. Okay, and now the last thing is the actual monitor. I'm pretty sure this is 60 hertz, 24 inches. So, I mean, just kind of a normal monitor, but it's actually pretty good that they added one. All right, so this is how the monitor looks. I can't really give too much of a review on it, of course, until I turn it on. The bezels, they do look kind of thick. They're like not the most thick I've seen. They're kind of just in the middle, to be honest. And it also comes with a stand, of course. The good thing about monitors like this is it's like actually way too easy to set them up. Just slide that in. And then you just have to connect it onto this and then you're literally done. Okay, so I'm gonna try and use every single product that they gave me because they basically gave me an entire gaming setup. So let's just set it up real quick and roll the montage. All right, so the monitor actually doesn't really look that good at all. It's gonna be like really, if I have the camera like this, it's gonna be really annoying for you guys to just look at it. So I'm just gonna upgrade the monitor, like change it to a different one. And I'm also just gonna use a different mouse because this one just doesn't have any side buttons. But the rest of it will all be from like what they gave me, including the headset and everything like that. Usually when I test out a PC, I have a pretty good idea of how much FPS I think it's gonna get. But this one is getting way more FPS and it's definitely a lot smoother than I actually expected it to be. I am actually actually gaming with no mouse pad because the mouse pad they gave me was like I, it was so bad to play on like it actually made me even worse this keyboard also definitely not the play it feels like it's giving me so much delay but the pc which is the most important part actually isn't even that bad like it's actually really surprising me obviously the monitor they gave is really not that good so this one's a lot better but like yo this setup is actually not that bad the headsets and the pc are probably the only things i would say were are good of this setup maybe the soundboard i haven't or the sound bar. I have not tried that out yet, but so far the PC definitely surprised me and the headsets are not like absolutely terrible. It's just, it'd be kind of uncomfortable after a while, but the sound isn't like terrible, terrible. I think if we're getting like 180, 200 FPS in creative, we can probably get like maybe a little bit less, like 150 or 160 in game. So the one thing I hate about this keyboard is it's not really the keyboard's fault. It's just, it's so big that my mouse keeps on slamming into it. Like I don't really like full size keyboard. It just takes up way too much space. All right, when you land in, it definitely has a little bit of frame drops. It was like, yeah, you can see right now, it's actually like dropping just a little bit. Dude, this keyboard is so hard to play on, bro. Oh, like, actually, ah. Oh. Dude, the main problem is just there's so many frame drops on this, bro. Oh, we just robbed that kill. Dude, what is that guy doing? He's 1 HP. He's literally 1 HP now. There we go, finally, holy. Even though this PC's stuttering, I think if I just kept it at like 120 FPS, it would like actually worked fine. But at the same time, you can just get 120 FPS with like an Xbox Series S or something. Oh, and that guy was 1 HP, holy. I had a PC like really similar to this, like almost the exact same specs with an RX 580 and it literally like barely could even run anything. That's why I'm like so surprised this can actually like game at all. It does stutter, like it goes down to 50. 50, but I thought I could like actually almost not play at all. I'm on complete performance mode, all low settings, like the lowest ones you can have. Just as if anyone's wondering. Yo, this guy's really can't be behind that. Holy. Okay, I'm definitely pushing that, bro. Come on, just die already. Like actually just die. There we go, finally. I don't know, it's just like, I can't tell if it's because my sense is low or something, but I just feel like something's off right now. Oh, and here's a third party, of course. I, I'm literally building. I literally was trying to build. Oh, get dookied on, bro. Oh my gosh, that was close. Wow, five kills ready? Okay. Wait, who is... Yo, is that him? I think it is, right? Yeah, that's him. Okay. I don't know who I was looking at. What was this guy even doing, bro? All right, we got that, that. Okay, we have six kills. I'm actually popping off right now. Okay. Oh my. Easy kill for sure. Yeah, I think that's an actual AI. I think if this was actually my PC, I think what I would actually do is I'm going to test out 144 FPS and see how consistent it is. It just feels like it drops way too much when it's on unlimited. No way it crashed again. Oh, it didn't. Let's go. I'm not changing any more settings though because this PC seems like it wants to crash whenever I change anything. Yeah, that already feels a lot better, bro. Definitely cap the FPS because it was lagging way too much before. This guy's actually dead, bro. All right, ready for this laser? Wait, how? Wait, I, how did this guy even? Yo, how did he even know I was there, bro? Oh my, okay, bro. He's gonna edit again. 120. Oh my, how did I almost lose that? Yo, I feel like I'm getting chopped out right now. Yo, it's actually so weird playing without a mouse pad. Oh my gosh, I'm dead. Please kill him. Yo, there you go, finally. This guy I don't think is good at all. He's just been, oh shoot, and I just get laser. Oh, of course you go in the bush. 
There we go, easy. Oh my, he had a gold pump too. He just wanted to one pump me. Also, since I changed to 144 FPS, the PC actually feels so much better. It's like infinitely times better, bro. Cause it's like not frame dropping so much all the time. Like this is easily playable. Oh, there he is. Okay, like I don't even know what happened there, bro. Oh my gosh, I literally placed a thing there. I'm actually gonna get pumped, bro. Is that his? No. Dude, this guy actually has zero ping compared to me. I can't. Hit him for 135, bro. I just need this kid to die, dude. Too obvious. I'm dead. Yup, I literally didn't even mean to mantle up there. Nice, bro. GG's. All right, so now it's just gonna be testing out my entire PC, and then I'll just show you guys the results of all of it. Okay, so this is how the PC performed. You can see, like, all the actual, like, performance results, and then it says, like, how good each component actually is. If anyone's wondering, it's just called user benchmark, and you guys can just see, like, what's performing above expectations, below its potential. Like, you can maybe, like, improve it. Performing as expected, like, the RAM, 16 gigabytes, and all that stuff. So, yeah. Definitely the highlight of of this entire like PC setup and everything is just the RGB lights of this PC. It actually, I'm not gonna lie, it th they do actually look like really good, but that's kind of like what they're trying to do. They're just trying to make the PC look a lot better than it probably could be. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you drop a quick sub. And I feel like I say this all the time, but over 60% of you guys that watch my videos are not subbed. So if you're not subbed, why not sub? Helps the boy out. YouTube recommends this video right there. And also this one right here is one I recommend. And that's about it. God bless.